please welcome to the stage Robert Reynolds with Vote Triple. <laughs> Uh, my name is Robert Reynolds. I'm co-founder of an organization called VoteTripling.org, and I'm a behavioral scientist who researches friend-to-friend -friend voter turnout and relational organizing. So it's my belief that the Democratic Party's most powerful relational organizers are our non-activists. And what I mean by non-activists are the 97% of people who show up to vote on election day, but who've done exactly zero volunteering up to that point. And I think they're our most powerful relational organizers for three reasons. First, there's 30 times as many of those folks as there are people like you and I. Second, those people are much more closely connected to irregular voters than someone like me or someone like you. And lastly, because the behavioral science research says activists like myself who are barking each and every election that this is the most important race in a generation come off as the boy who cried wolf and people become numb to those messages. But when a message comes from someone who's traditionally disengaged, it signals that this time is really different and everyone actually is getting involved. And so the inherent challenge though with non-activist relational organizing is that these folks are just more disengaged. And so how do we create something that's easy enough that actually sparks them to mobilize their friends? And so this, that's what vote tripling is. It's a simple pledge that campaigns use when they're canvassing and they find someone who's going to support their campaign, but who's not so enthusiastic that they're gonna donate or volunteer. And they tell them, there's a really simple way you can con contribute to our race, which is by holding three friends accountable to vote. And what we found is that voters are delighted to do this. And so as part of that pledge, they share their cell phone number and the names of three people who they'll mobilize. And then campaigns send them personalized text message reminders using hustle or relay or open progress, reminding them to vote and reminding them the names of each of their friends who they pledged to mobilize to vote. And so in 2018 and this year in 2019, my PAC has supported 60 plus candidates in using this technique as a core part of their voter turnout strategy. And these campaigns have used vote tripling for three reasons. First is that the opportunity cost of running a program like this is zero dollars because campaigns simply replace commit to vote pledges with vote tripling pledges. And the research finds that commit to vote pledges work, but the research also finds that they come off as very condescending. The second the voter says, sure, I'll vote for you, and a campaign sticks out a card and says, okay, prove it to us, uh, write down here that you definitely will vote. People hate that, um, but people are delighted to say, yes, I'll, um, I will vote and I'll get my friends to vote as well. The second reason campaigns are using this technique at an increasing rate is because it scales 100 times faster than any other relational organizing approach. And an example of that uh, occurred at a Pearl Jam concert last summer in Montana where a nonpartisan organization did a vote tripling pledge drive and got over 3,000 people to take this pledge in just two hours. So that's 3,000 plus triplers and nearly 10,000 friends. And then the last reason campaigns use this is because the preliminary evidence finds it strongly boosts turnout. Um, and so this is a test that's currently being evaluated by PhD students at Georgetown and the results still are preliminary, um, but they look very promising. And so our PAC's singular mission is to train organizations to use this for free. So if you'd like a free training, text us at this number and we'll teach you how to do this. Thank you.